Hi, this is Bill Carmody with a quick overview of how sound works. In order for there to be sound, something has to vibrate. Your lips, your vocal cords, a string, uh, a reed, something has to vibrate. And in those vibrations, the uh, air around whatever is vibrating compresses and rarefies. The molecules get tighter together and that causes the peaks or crest of a sound wave and then in between that the molecules are further apart the um, atmospheric pressure is lower and that creates the trough of the sound wave how often this happens per second determines the pitch so the human ear can hear from 20 to 20,000 cycles per second or cycles per second or hertz so 20 to 20,000 hertz. Um, the amplitude or how loud the sound is determined, is determined by how far away from the zero line the wave is. So that's compression and rare fraction for creating sound waves. There are four components to a sound the pitch, the intensity, duration, and timbre. The pitch is the frequencies per second, the how many hertz they are. And in music, we notate that with note pitches on a staff, treble or bass clef, whether it's a low note or a high note. The intensity is how high the amplitude is of the sound wave. And in music notation, we uh, use dynamics. P for piano, which means soft, and F for forte, which means loud. The M is mezzo, which means moderately. The duration is how long the note is held, and in music notation, we that is determined by the uh, tempo and the note value, what kind of note it is, whether it's a whole note, which gets four beats, or a quarter note gets one beat, etc. And the timbre uh, is the unique quality of a sound, what makes a trumpet sound different from a clarinet, even when they're playing the same pitch at the same volume. They have a different sound. Your voice sounds different from mine because of the, uh, our timbres are unique, and that happens because of the overtone series. The overtone series is a fact of, of physics that when you hear a sound, you not only hear the sound you're hearing, but you hear a whole series of sounds above that sound, and those are called overtones. If you vibrate a string on the guitar, <clears throat> in addition to the, the note you're plucking, you also, the string will vibrate in twos and threes and fours and fives, ratio of uh, two to one or three to one or four to one or five to one, six to one, etc. And those extra vibrations create a whole bunch of overtones or harmonics and um, the this example shows the first 16 partials of the C overtone series but it could start on any note it could start on an F overtone series and then we'd hear F F C F E flat so on um, the uh, partials get closer together as they get higher and we stop at the 16th partial because that's as high as our notation system is equipped. Um, above that, the notes are closer than a half step apart, and our notation just normally goes a half step, uh, no closer than that. Uh, you can hear these overtones actually on a piano, the only instrument that plays all the overtones of the series, uh, by holding down a note that's going to be an overtone, uh, just press the key softly so that the damper is released from that string, then hit the fundamental, hit this low C, and you will hear the upper note ring through. The higher it gets, the harder it is to hear, but you can still hear these sympathetic vibrations. And for the test of chapter one, uh, you need to know this overtone series by numbers. One, one, five, one, three, five, flat seven, one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, flat seven, natural seven, one. This overtone series is really important in music because uh, it's upon this 
fact of uh, physics that our whole music system scales and chords and everything is built. The, the most recurring number is one and that's why the first note of the scale is most important. The second most uh, recurring note is five and that's why the fifth note of the scale is so important and so on and so on. You know, you'll learn that as the semester goes on. There are some websites that will help you uh, develop your understanding of music theory and here are three that uh, I recommend but there are lots more and if you find one that works really well share it with the class. Alright, that's the introduction. Talk to you later. Bye.